Imagine waking up tomorrow to discover that everything you know about the world has changed, completely and permanently. Not because of slow climate change or a pandemic unfolding over months, but because of something that could alter the fate of our planet in just a few hours. Nuclear war and the chilling aftermath known as nuclear winter. Let's start with a single detonation. A nuclear weapon explodes above a major city. In an instant, a sphere of gas hotter than the surface of the sun forms. Everything nearby ignites, not just from contact with flame, but because the heat is so intense that the very air seems to catch fire. A shockwave follows, flattening buildings in all directions. But this destruction, as horrifying as it is, is only the beginning. The fires that follow are on another level entirely. Fueled by everything combustible, buildings, forests, fuel, even people, they merge into what scientists call a firestorm. This is no ordinary blaze. The intense heat creates its own wind system, pulling in oxygen from miles around and feeding the inferno. These firestorms are capable of consuming entire cities, generating immense amounts of black soot and smoke dot. What happens next takes the disaster global. This soot doesn't stay near the ground or fall with the rain. It rises far above the weather systems we know, into the stratosphere, where there's no rain to wash it down and no wind to disperse it. Instead, it spreads, slowly circling the Earth and forming a dark veil that blocks sunlight from reaching the surface. Now imagine this happening not just once, but hundreds of times. In a large-scale nuclear conflict, thousands of warheads could be detonated, creating hundreds of firestorms. Scientists estimate that such a war could inject up to 150 million tonnes of soot into the upper atmosphere. The consequences begin within days. Less sunlight reaches Earth's surface. Temperatures drop rapidly. It's not like flipping a switch into total darkness, but the effect is devastating. Crops begin to fail. Ecosystems destabilize. Climate zones shift almost overnight. This is nuclear winter, a global climate catastrophe caused not by the bombs themselves, but by the smoke and soot they produce. And it's faster and more deadly than anything modern agriculture or society can adapt to dot the seasons become unpredictable. Winters grow longer and colder. Summers become short and bitter if they arrive at all. Rainfall drops. Oceans cool. Evaporation slows. All of this disrupts the food systems we rely on. Most of the world's population lives in the mid-latitudes, the temperate regions where our most productive farmland lies. The Great Plains, Europe, Ukraine, parts of China and India. These are the bread baskets of the world. But in a nuclear winter scenario, these regions would face years of freezing temperatures, making food production nearly impossible. Even if the land was still farmable, the global food system is fragile. Modern agriculture depends on fuel, fertilizers, machinery and stable infrastructure. After a major war, those supply chains would likely collapse. Without them, Farming on any significant scale becomes extremely difficult, even in areas less directly affected by the blasts. At that point, survival becomes a question of math. How much food is left and how many people need to eat? The answer is grim. The world only stores a few weeks' worth of food at any given time. When that runs out, mass starvation begins. If you're finding this information eye-opening, consider sharing it because awareness is the first step toward prevention. And if you want to stay informed on critical global issues like this, subscribing to the channel really helps. So what are the possible scenarios? Scientists have modeled several. One of the most studied is a regional nuclear war between India and Pakistan. These countries have ongoing tensions and growing nuclear stockpiles. Even a limited exchange, say, around 100 weapons, could kill over 27 million people in the first few hours. The fires would send enough soot into the atmosphere to cause a nuclear autumn, a milder but still dangerous form of climate disruption. 
global food production could drop by 10-15%, potentially starving up to 250 million people. If the war were larger, several hundred warheads, the situation becomes much worse. Over 100 million could die instantly. The resulting nuclear winter could cut global food output in half. Scientists estimate that 2 billion people could die from starvation in the years that follow. But the most catastrophic scenario involves the United States, Russia and possibly China. A full-scale nuclear war among superpowers could involve over 4,000 nuclear weapons. This would kill hundreds of millions immediately and plunge the world into a full nuclear winter. In this scenario, global food production could drop by 90%. Virtually no crops would survive. Some countries might fare better, Australia, New Zealand, Argentina, largely because of geography. They're in the southern hemisphere, further from likely conflict zones, and their winters would be less severe. They also have strong livestock industries, which might help sustain basic food production. But even they would face extreme challenges. International trade would collapse, and food exports would likely stop completely. What about recovery? Eventually, yes, the atmosphere would clear. The soot would settle out over seven to 10 years and temperatures would slowly return to normal. But the long-term damage, both to the climate and to human civilization, would be immense. Infrastructure would be destroyed, economies shattered, entire generations traumatized. And the biggest question of all remains, would we learn from it? Would the survivors, if any, rebuild a wiser, more peaceful civilization? Or would the cycle of destruction begin again? The terrifying reality is that nuclear winter isn't science fiction. It's a scientifically supported phenomenon, backed by decades of climate modeling, atmospheric research, and historical firestorm data, from Hiroshima to modern simulations. The technology that could trigger it exists today, and the global tensions that could ignite it are very real. The good news? Nuclear winter isn't inevitable. It only happens if we allow nuclear war to happen. That means prevention, diplomacy, treaties, and above all, public awareness. Understanding this threat isn't about fear. It's about responsibility. We need to know the stakes so we can push for disarmament, smarter policies, and leaders who value peace over power. The choice is ours, and the time to act is now before it's too late. If this video helped you understand what's really at risk, please show your support by liking it and subscribing to the channel. Turn on notifications so you won't miss more content that truly matters. Thanks for watching, and remember, Knowledge is the first step toward making a difference.